and I have th three more things, I think. So then I found this Kate Spade wallet. This was at the outlet, $2. Excellent shape. I always find good wallets there. Always find good wallets in excellent condition. And it's like um, almost like an ostrich um, print on the leather. Really cute. It's Miss Kate Spade. So this was good for $2 too. Um, then, um, if you guys are any around my age probably, um, in the 80s when you were really like in the 70s, um, this wasn't, no, this was the eighties. This was the eighties. By the time I was grown and had kids, you know, and was out of my parents' house, this was out, this was around. And so I'm going to say very early eighties. My daughter was born in 81. So, um, this is the United Colors of Benetton. This is one of the biggest bags that they did, right? Handbags. It's not, they didn't really do leather back then as much. Sometimes they did, and it has some color transfer, but you know what? I would have did anything to have this bag back then, but I just wasn't in a position to buy one. So I'm going to clean this thing up, and I'm keeping this. And um, keep this for myself. This bag is cool. This is so cute. It's not funny. And the size of it, you could actually, this would be good to take as a, a your um, handbag when you're going on the airplane. And along with your carry-on, and you say, oh, no, this is my handbag, but you got all of your, you know, private stuff in here. Your underwear, your flip-flops, your mouthwash, all your stuff that you would carry with you, your medicine, all could fit in here and go on the airplane with you. So this is a nice bag for that. And then, y'all, I went there. I'm going to tell y'all, I went there at 11, I got there about 11.30, 11.40 in the morning. They opened at 7.00. I don't know wh who raised these people that they walked in there and walked past this bag. And I mean, these are people who are actually resellers that come in there early in the morning and they go crazy grabbing, grabbing and throwing stuff in their cart. And so I walked in there and got this. Would you look? I hope you can see what this is. Child, if you can't, I'm going to show you on the markings. Oh, you probably still can't see. Yves Saint Laurent. Luggage. Again, a carry-on. Ain't that funny? And they everybody just went on past this like it was nothing. This thing is so cute. I said, are you kidding? It's vinyl. I mean, you know, like the, um, what's this, like umbrella material? So it's, it's a piece of luggage. I actually, I think, had like two other pieces to the set. But it wasn't in a thrift store because I, I looked it up. It has a huge front pocket. And um, the way the YSL is on the front, it kind of comes up into like a shape or something like that. It's so cute. Well, as soon as I saw that, that right there stuck right out to me. And it has the cross by, then you know the handle, the leather, all the trim on the brown on there is leather. And then there's a huge inside pocket for all of your carry-on needs. And then this back pocket opens up. And here's for your makeup and jewelry or whatever you're going to carry with you. Pockets for that. And it flips back up and uh, snaps. And this was $2 in the outlet. And like I said, it was so many people in there prior to me getting there. that I'm like, well, how, oh, how on earth did I get all of these bags? Maybe it was just my day or... Who knows, right? So, um, again, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know if I'm going to sell this or not. But um, I will actually make, my, in you know, the next couple of videos, I'll say whether or not, you know, when I put the stuff up for sale, um, I got to get everything together and then put it up on the channel. So that takes me a couple of days. It won't be like in the next few days. Um, but probably by next week, I should have something up the end of next week. But thank you guys for... Um, watching again um if you are if you do subscribe and i would appreciate that because i am trying to you know do this thing and the more people to watch the more excited i get and the more ideas i try to think of and what else did i get uh, okay these i got from the outlet two dollars and these are a little set of plates we got lettuce tomato cucumbers and radishes and i don't have anything over here to get this tape off for me to open them up but it's just little you know, uh, hors d'oeuvre plates.
or little salad plates, and they're just in the shape of salad vegetables. Really cute. And who is the company? God only knows. I don't know that company. I just got them because they were cute. So, that. And then the last item I got from the thrift store is this pink milk glass bowl. This thing is so gorgeous, y'all. And I got this for $1.99. Ain't that something? $1. And this came from Thrift World. Yeah. It was $75 off of, of $3.99, so I got it for a dollar. Well, $0.99 cent on a 75% off sale. And it's that light, really pretty light pink. So cute. I have a white one like this too, but this pink is gorgeous. So that was it for my thrift haul, but I went to at home and I only have a couple things that from there. I got at home had 75% off and that day I had got an email while I was out when I checked my phone and it said at home is up to 75%. And I said, damn, I have nothing. I'm gonna go past there. So I walked in, got these and I actually got about four of them. They were regularly $6.99 and I got them for $1.75. Now I don't, let me make sure you can see these. They're just a sparkly and they're just reindeer and it was the same shape. So I got four of them because I'm gonna add these on my console table probably next year because I just said I was only gonna do silvers, grays, and whites. And then I saw these for $1.75 and wasn't leaving them there. So I got four of these and then here you go guys. Here was this a find or what? Fur Christmas trees in gray. Seven dollars after the seventy-five percent off. They was regularly thirty, and they had two, and I got the two. So I will be adding these to my Christmas decorations next year. All faux fur, nice and soft. Seven dollars. So, and that's all I got because I really wasn't gonna keep putting too much into. Uh, um, Christmas next year because I got enough. I have more than enough. Just those pieces were, I know I can do something with those. And, and the last thing I want to say, and I'm probably going to say this on the next couple videos, if you're, if you subscribe to my channel and you have a channel, whether it be big or you're just starting off like I am, please, I'm not getting the response, you know, I'm not finding out exactly who it is because I want to um, subscribe back so we can support each other and trying to grow these channels. If you subscribe to me and you have a channel and want to be subscribed to, I don't care if you have a million subscribers or I don't care if you have two. Just down the bottom say, please subscribe to my channel. Or, you know, I subscribe, would you subscribe back? Whatever. It doesn't matter what you say or how you say it. But if you say it and let me, and then I could go to your channel because in the notifications, it gives me like somebody every now and then. So it must be your privacy settings is not letting me see that you subscribed. But... Uh, I'm going to cut this video off real quick and I'm going to thank everybody for watching. I'm going to ask people to subscribe. I got a whole lot more coming. I got this big hand bag haul coming up right now, probably following this. I don't know if it'll go up tonight or tomorrow. This is Friday, so it might be up tomorrow, depending on how quick I can upload. Then I have a DIY of, um, a dresser that I want to redo. I mean, I just want to add some Flare, and I want to see how that comes out. And I also have a DIY on no sew table runners that um, you make and they look custom. And there, it's no sew, it's just the iron, and that's it. And um, then I'm going to have another tablescape going up. Because um, I actually, I'm, it's blank right now. So I'm working on putting that together. So I will. Um, be back shortly with you guys, but don't forget if you subscribe, please let me know at the bottom because especially if you want me to subscribe back because you know, I'm like, oh wow, these people are subscribing and I can't even go check to see who it is or you know, if they have a small channel or a large channel and if they want, um, you know, me to subscribe back. So just leave that. And like I said, I'll probably say this in the next couple videos because I want everybody to realize that that's what I'm doing. And I will see you guys soon, very soon because I'm getting ready to tape another i'm getting ready to do another video right now so thanks a lot for watching i'll talk to you soon